I don't know if I can record with these lights like this. I'm like, woo. I'm so blind, I'm just knocking over stuff now. I was trying to be serious. All right. <laughs> Hi, hello, welcome to my channel. Today I am using the Morphe 25, wait, what is this called? Y'all finna have me lying already. I just started the video. Hold on. Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is Kleisha. Today I use the new Morphe 25L Live In Color palette. This palette came out during the beautiful month of June, which is Pride Month. 100% of the proceeds of this palette and the brushes that go along with it go to the Trevor Project. They're here to help you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you are struggling and you need to reach out to the Trevor Project, their number is 1-866-488-7386. Reach out for help if you need it. If you know somebody that's in need, please reach out to them and get help immediately. Now, so we still have to find out, is this palette lit or is this palette shit? I mean, it's still a palette. Now, the proceeds go to a good cause, but that does not mean we cannot judge this palette. So, if you want to find out, is this palette lit or is this palette shit, and you want to see how I got this look, please keep watching. Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are using the new Morphe 25L Living Color Palette. Do y'all see this palette? Look how beautiful it is. I mean, look at these shades, y'all. Get into it, get into it. Are you into it? So Morphe is donating 100% of the proceeds from this palette and the accompanying brushes to the Trevor Project is a national organization that provides um, crisis intervention, suicide prevention, and any kind of help that the LGBTQ community of any age, especially those questioning at the age of 25, is a 24 hour organization that's there to help for that's there to help those in need. If you or anyone that you know is struggling, please reach out to the Trevor Project. Like I said, it is 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and their number is 1-866-488-7386. Don't hesitate to call if you are struggling. There is help there for you. You don't have to struggle. There are people out here that are living just like you, that are struggling like you. They're scared. They need help. They might get kicked out of their home for being who they are. If you are in that situation or you know anybody in a situation like that or anybody that can use any kind of help, please reach out to them. It is never too late to get help. So like I said, Morphe um, also came out with some brushes that came along with this palette, but your girl was on a budget, okay? I had to choose between the two and the palette, you know, I just, I'm, I'm always here for a palette, especially a palette as beautiful as this. I mean, come on. Okay, so let's take this palette for a spin. Let's see what it can do. Let's get into it. Let's do something bright, but cute. Bright, cute, and simple. I, I have something simple in mind. I saw this look on Instagram on a couple of people. I don't know who originated it. Sorry, but the, I will tell you the person that I saw it on. Hold up. Y'all know people start tripping when you like, when you don't give the proper originator credit. Like, damn, I didn't see that person. I didn't see theirs sorry and everybody deserves a credit so don't come for me girl just let me know who the who the original original person is and I will see to it that they are credited in my video oh y'all I don't know hold on Instagram tripping y'all know this Instagram been going down a lot lately oh in there it can't refresh feed maybe by the end of the video um, Instagram will be working and I can give whoever the credit so it's 25 beautiful shades on here. You got a mix of shimmers and mattes. All right, so let's just get into it. I was gonna swatch them, but then I was like, God damn, that's 25 shades. I don't know if I got time. Do y'all hear those birds? What the hell are we doing out there? I mean, seriously, what's really going on? What are they doing? Clean up my brows real quick. I didn't do that. This palette also does have a very big mirror, which I really appreciate. 
it's always so difficult trying to hold up a mirror and hold a palette at the same time it's just really convenient when the palette comes with the mirror and this is a big old mirror this is a big one that's what she said so y'all it is so nice to have organizations like the trevor project you know you have queer kids out here being beat up and killed just for being who they are coming out being themselves some people just have so much hate in their heart that they just can't even accept love for love which is just so confusing to me I, I just I never I never understood that it's like why are you so adamant on hatred I don't understand what's wrong what, what's going on in your head that something like somebody else's love love choice love preference affects you to the point where you feel like you have to kill them or hurt them or harm them or bully them or anything like that it's just it's ridiculous love is love love has no color love has love has no gender you should be free to love whoever you want be whoever you want and you should be able to live, live your life without fear without fear of being harmed or bullied or I hope y'all don't hear those birds. Um, so I'm gonna use the Morphe eyeshadow base. Like I said, this is gonna be a very easy look. I do wish this palette had a matte blue. It doesn't have a matte blue, but I think I'm still gonna go ahead and use the shimmery blue that's in here anyway. And I should have this video up on Thursday. I'm sorry, I I was in a bit of a funk this week, so it was a little bit difficult for me to, to actually film anything. It happens to me from time to time, sorry. I don't want to come on here being phony so in times like those I just I can't film I can't because it's like y'all don't want me to be saying who wants to see a sad bitch doing makeup <laughs> I just get in a funk sometimes but we coming through coming through it so it was a little mini one I'm gonna try to go to the gym this week too that always helps me I'm saying that on camera so I can be accountable for myself <sighs> bitch it's a struggle Okay, so basically what I'm doing, what I'm gonna do is a very simple rainbow look where you have three shades over here, red, orange, yellow, and then over here you have um, blue, green, purple. Bing, bang, boom. You hear me? That is it. I just want to see how the palette works, how the colors work together, how they blend and all that. And then of course, throughout the rest of this month, I'll be using this palette, creating a whole bunch of other fun looks, cut creases and all that and whatnot. So, okay, so first I want to go into this red shade called Life. I'm gonna put that on the inner corner of my eye here. And it's gonna be like a pretty blown out kind of a look. I hope this um, doesn't come out looking pink. Y'all know when you got the melanin, colors sometimes come out looking a little funny. So far I think this looks pretty red. Very pretty, very pretty. So I'm just gonna keep packing it on. Y'all, I'm not going outside. Not the way you sound enough. <laughs> I wonder if I should use like a white base. Maybe I'll do that for my next look, but I just want to see how these look with a regular base for right now. You know what? I should probably zoom in. Hold on. All right, all right, all right, all right. Woo, woo, chicken, chicken. Boy, please, whatever. So I'm actually going to use the same brush. I'm just using a color switch. And I definitely just stained this brush red. Coo, 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 coo. Y'all, this ring light is blinding me. I tried to do something a little different with the ring light, and I don't know if I should have done that because I'm blinded by the light. All right, so the next shade I'm taking is this orange shade Pride. Put that right next to the red. Roy G. Biv, Biv. Roy G. Biv. Okay. Wow. This almost looks peachy. No, I want it to be like orange. And there is some fallout from this palette, but it's nothing that's crazy. What do y'all think? Does this look orange to y'all or does this look like peach? I might take a different orange shade and put it on top of this. I want this to be like really orange. I'm blinded by this damn ring light. I can't even <laughs> I can't even see what color this is, but honestly, this looks this is giving me peach teas. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Morphe and James Charles palette. Take this orange shade from the Morphe and James Charles palette. Now, I know I had a shade sheet in the last video, but that's because I was being responsible. I don't have it anymore. Sorry. Let me take this Cecil palette from Juvia's Place. I'm going to use this orange. 
Now that orange from the Morphe palette, the Living Color palette, is pretty, but it's really looking more peach to me than orange. And I wanna blend this all afterwards. I'm just trying to get the colors packed on right now. Don't judge me. Give me time to live my life. Okay, so now I'm gonna use this yellow shade called Spotlight. Put that right on the end of my eye. And that color switch I got from um, Amazon, but they also, um, the crayon case has some too, some really good ones. And I believe they're only $5 from the crayon case. Woo, that has a lot of fallout. I'll take pigment over fallout. Like I'll take the fallout as long as it gives a good pigment. Is anybody watching Love Island? I love Love Island. This is my first time watching it live. I binge watched all the other seasons last year. And this is my first time that I get to watch it live. Now, don't ask me what network it's on because I'm in the US and Love Island is in the UK. So, you know, you kind of got to do some internet trickery to watch it. But if you found it and you're watching it, let me know. Who are your favorite islanders so far? My favorite islanders are Yawande, Michael, and Amber. And hey, y'all, what happened to Sharif? He just left the villa and nobody said why he left or anything like, hello, can we get like a little bit of explanation? Like what happened? What's the tea? I hope Yawande finds love. She is so cute and I love her accent and she is so beautiful. She don't need no F boy. I don't know how I feel about Danny yet. He, he playing around. I do, I'm having issues with Molly Mae. She like everybody. So now I'm just trying to blend the shades in. I think I need a smaller brush to do this. But yeah, um, I really hope your one day finds a good guy. She seems really nice and cool. You know what, I kind of like Anna too, she cool. I don't really care too much about like the whole Lucy Joe drama. So now that I'm blending it in, the color's kind of coming off a little bit, that's okay. I'm gonna go back and put more down. Kind of lifting up a little bit. Yeah, especially when like, y'all see that? It's like literally just like coming off as I'm blending. Wow. All right, that's an issue, <laughs> whoa. Technical difficulties. <sighs> All right, let's try to go put some of this yellow back down here. Now this ain't really working out too well for me. Uh oh. I mean, look at how pigmented it's going on. <sighs> but then when I start to blend it, it like goes all it goes away. Do y'all see that? Let me let me zoom in real quick. Let me zoom in. All right, watch. Now I'm gonna put it on. <sighs> this yellow shade really has a lot of fallout, though. <sighs> like a lot. All right, now I'm gonna put the shade on the shadow. I'm gonna turn it orange up here. gonna start blending it now I've got like this patch I'm getting frustrated put some orange back into the look or this peachy shade or whatever you want to call this I mean this is such a pretty palette I just I really want it to work for me it's for a very good cause I mean I'm glad I bought it just simply for the cause alone Maybe we need to pat, not blend. All right, maybe I think I figured it out. I think we just need to pat, not blend. Okay, let's see. Let me get a different brush. Okay. All right. All right, so it's a pat, not blend. All right, I feel you. I see you. Um, still get patches. I don't know if you can see this patch right here. But I think I can cover that up with eyeliner. I don't know what to do about this. Like, I can't keep just packing more on because it's not helping. I'm gonna try not to get discouraged here. I'm gonna try one more time to add a little bit more yellow. Hey. It's just not going in this patch, whatever this patch is. I don't know if that's the eye primer or what. Moving on, we have to move on. 
All right, so I'm gonna take this green shade called Nature. This one has quite a bit of fallout too. Like I said, I will be trying this palette out more this month. So this is just my first impressions right now. Like I said, it's a beautiful palette. I'm glad I bought it. I'm definitely not happy with the way my left eye turned out. So we're just gonna keep it pushing and hopefully the other eye comes out better. And then as I continue to use and work with these colors, I gotta kind of probably try to figure out how to work with them. But look at this green, it's going on very beautifully. It's really pretty. I'm gonna try using um, different brushes for each shade. Maybe that'll help, like, I don't know. I shouldn't have to do that, but we'll see. Maybe I do. There is no matte blue in here and I actually want to use, I wanna keep it all matte. So I am gonna have to use another palette. I'm gonna go ahead and use the James Charles and Morphe palette. And as we all know, James is part of the LGBTQ community. I'm gonna use this blue shade down here at the bottom. Oh, this shade is really pretty. Oh, bitch. Come on with the pigment, man. I don't know if y'all can hear, but those birds have calmed down. I don't know what they were going on about, but whatever it is, the problem is solved. RIP to whoever or whatever was on the other end of that noise. Um, so now I'm gonna use this purple shade called Truth. You know what I also appreciate about this palette? The names are on the palette. You know, this eye is turning out a lot better than the other eye. I'm having far less issues, but I'm, I might be speaking too soon because I haven't tried to blend these yet. I'm just putting it on my lid first. All right, now, now we blend. Now this is where the truth comes in. Let's try to blend this. I am gonna be like kind of swishing my brush in in between like the blending shades. I don't wanna get like blue into the green too much. What do y'all think was the issue with the other eye? I mean, is it even that big of a deal? Am I being dramatic? I don't think I am though. Like these colors are way more popping than these ones. Well, you know what, honestly, it's the yellow that's giving me the trouble. Isn't that like the hardest shade to master yellows with makeup companies? Girl, don't get me to lie. So maybe that's just like a problematic shade. <sighs> they need to get the yellow right, especially for us with the melanin. The pigment, I don't want to disturb the pigment too much. I'm still going to do that tapping patent me me mechanism. <sighs> Y'all have to be trying to make up stuff that sound like sophisticated and whatnot. <laughs> I'm just going to pat them, okay, in between the shades so they kind of blend effortlessly without getting them too mixed up amongst each other. There, how does that sound? Uh-oh, here comes in the patchiness. See, the issue comes when you try to blend them and I'm not even blending them, I'm patting like I did the other ones because I found that was easier. There's a patch right here. <sighs> Y'all, I really want this palette to be great. I'm not here to trash talk a palette that's going towards such a great cause, but I am here to speak the truth. Meanwhile, I'm going back in with the color truth. A little bit more on top. I'm definitely having some patch issues. When I get, it's like they go on perfectly beautiful, but when I go to blend them, then they lift up and they cause patches. And another addition of is it lit or is it shit? I keep forgetting to say that in every video, but every time I do a review, I'm supposed to say is it lit or is it shit? And I keep forgetting to say it. Don't forget, y'all heard it here first. I said it first. Go back to my other videos, look at my thumbnails. Is it lit or is it shit? If y'all see anybody else using my stuff, let me know. I mean, I know I don't get that many views, but this is what happens. They be saying like the younger YouTubers or the, the younger, <laughs> the smaller YouTubers have like these ideas and stuff, then they get picked off by bigger YouTubers and then like the bigger YouTubers never give the smaller YouTubers the credit. So y'all know, go back about two or three months I said, is it lit or is it shit first? And I have to keep reminding myself to say it in every video. 
I don't know why I just went off on a tangent. And you know what? I'm not even hungry and I'm not really in my funk. I'm feeling cool. I mean, I'm not very happy about the performance of this paneling. He must be losing at a video game. Because he's having a real tantrum out there. I mean, y'all. I don't just be doing my makeup for the video. I mean, I'm trying to get some IG pictures out here too. And I don't know if I can take IG pictures with my makeup looking like this, unless I hit up Facetune. You know what I'm saying? He's losing his game. He cussing, he throwing shit. Why do men do that when they play those games? Like you're breaking your property over a game. Then he wonder where he gotta replace his phone like every four months. And y'all ain't hear it from me. Y'all ain't hear it from me. I did the best I could. I tried my best. I'm gonna take this shade Liberation and I'll put a little bit of that, just a little bit in my brow bone so it doesn't look like ch -ch -ch, you know? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face because we are not here to talk about all those other face products. Y'all know it's the same old, same old. So I'm gonna do the rest of my face and come back and then we'll do the under eye detail and wrap this video up and talk about this palette. Hold on. Okay, beach, I'm back. Okay, so I might have just went on ahead and finished my whole face because who cares? Who cares, okay? In case you're wondering, I use the NARS <laughs> foundation. This is a natural radiant long wear. I'm in the shade Macau. I use my Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade Coco Naughty, and I just use the same shimmers from the palette, from this Morphe palette, and my inner eye highlight, and underneath my eyes, and I also use the Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm Resi highlighter also in my inner eyes, and as my highlight, y'all see me blinking and whatnot. <sighs> so I use all that. I don't know why I'm out of breath. I'm sorry. All I was doing was literally sitting here. I think I'm talking fast because the battery's about to die, so I'm trying to wrap this up. Um, so, um, oh, and on my lips, I have Max Chestnut with um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Cool Brown and then Kat Von D Bow and Arrow on top of that, and then the Lip Injections Gloss on top of all that. Who child? Okay. All right, so let's talk about this palette. Is it lit or is it shit? I would say this palette is lit. This palette is lit because honestly, y'all, I only had issues with one of the shades and that was the yellow shade. On top of that, this palette was only $20 and again, 100% of the proceeds go to the Trevor Project is an organization that helps in crisis prevention, suicide, suicide prevention and help um, for all of those in the LGBTQ community. Also those questioning in the LGBTQ community, if they don't know what's going, you know, how they feel, those under the age of 25, the funds go to help them be able to keep this up 24 hours a day, seven days a week, the helpline. So that is what the funds for, for this palette go for. Also, the rest of the, all these shades are so beautiful and so pigmented. Now there is a little bit of trouble with them blending together. That's what I got from the first impressions as you saw in the first half of this video. I will be using this palette again, well, I'm gonna be using this palette all this month. So we'll definitely be able to really, really see what's going on, but the this side of my eye is super pigmented the blending was a lot easier i really only had trouble with this yellow shade and my eyeliner pretty much covered up that patch so it wasn't anything that's too crazy but again the yellow shade was a struggle there is fallout with the palette but it's nothing too crazy except for that yellow shade a lot of fallout also with the green a lot of fallout um but 
definitely recommend this palette. $20, you can't beat this. 25 beautiful shades, and it goes towards a great cause. So, I feel like I was just talking so goddamn fast. So what do you think about this palette? How do you think it looked on me? What do you think of this look? Oh, by the way, this look I got inspired from SF underscore princess on Instagram. I don't know if she is the originator of this look, but I saw it on her and I decided to do my own spin on it. So there's the credit. Shout out to her. It looks beautiful on her and I, I'm actually feeling this look too. This is definitely something I would wear again. I, I, I want to have these colors like popping, popping though the next time I do this. I definitely want to do this again with a little bit more pizzazz. Bang, boom, uh, uh, bang, bang. And I will. So as we continue on in this Pride Month doing these beautiful, bold Pride looks, we will really get to see what this palette is all about. So far, so good. I'm loving it. McDonald's. Let me know what you thought of this video. Do you have the palette already? If you do, what do you think of the palette? Let me know if you, oh, let me know if you did a look with this palette so I can go see your looks. Tag me on Instagram, let me know. I wanna see, I wanna like, I wanna support everyone. So please let me see your looks, please, please, please. So I'm gonna go ahead and give the Trevor Project number again if you are um, of the lgbtq community or if you're not sure and you're struggling and you're having suicidal thoughts or any kind of issues please reach out to them there is help out there for you you are not alone there is a 24 hour seven days a week helpline if you're watching this and you know a friend that might be in need somebody under the age of 25 or any or above anybody period please reach out. It is not too late. Help is out there for everybody. So again, the phone number for the Trevor Project is 1-866-488-7386. Please ask for help if you need it. If your family is not supportive, reach out to the Trevor Project, reach out to me, reach out to anybody that you feel comfortable speaking to because you don't have to end your life over something that you don't have a choice over. You are born the way you are. You are beautiful. You are loved. Love is love and love is beautiful. So with all that being said, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe to me, be with me, hang out with me. Let's do makeup together. Let's talk together. Let's do mukbangs and all that. Have a good day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.